Simon Gibbons, IBM Security. Uh, I am the Security Consulting and Systems Integration Leader. And my role is effectively overseeing, managing the security practitioners um, of IBM Security UK and Ireland. And basically, I'm accountable for things that are delivered to clients and customers. So from supporting the development of uh, bids and proposals for solutions, right through to the delivery of those services. What got me interested in security was in my first, first role in the industry, if you like, was um, not directly in security. It was working in a small local council. And the opportunity to play with environments, probably the days when uh, there wasn't so much focus on less for more. So you have the opportunity to play and develop and uh, work with different technologies. And I think effectively it was trying to break them or <laughs> test the security boundaries, really. And from... Uh, so this is going back nearly 20 years, but in doing so, it, it always interested me in terms of security is about common sense, but actually technology is an enabler of that, but not only an enabler, but how can you test the boundaries of things, can you do things smarter? And I think it was just that that, that interested me because security was intrinsic to everything. And liking IT, IT security just underpins it no matter what it is. And people talk, obviously, today in terms of terms of physical, personal, procedural, and technical. And I think it's that diversity of technology that I love that security always has a role to play in some form or another. A typical day in IBM, in my role, it's very diverse, very different. No two days are the same. There are several different challenges. So whether that's looking at getting the right resources, getting the right people, and it's, it's almost the full gambit of security. It's almost like being, I suppose, uh, a CSO, um, but for a security practice. And what I mean by that is it's, about, it's a people business. You've got to make sure you've got people trained and developed in different capabilities, which for, from a security point of view, especially from an, an IBM perspective, because we cover quite a breadth and depth of capability, it's how do you maintain skills that are security governance, security architecture, penetration testing, assurance, emergency response, security operations. And because of that diversity, I don't think it's ever dull in terms of the challenges that I get faced with. But I think they're all around people and supporting people. It's about supporting our clients and our clients' needs. And I think because of that diversity. Uh, never, no, no two days are the same, really, but it's interesting, and I think you just have to be good at thinking on your feet and supportive of the people that, 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 uh, that are delivering our services. The best bits is by far working with people, different people, being able to mentor and coach people, and seeing, uh, I suppose, the effects of investing time and effort in, in developing individuals, in developing capabilities, and I suppose in developing services and helping clients. And it's that ability to make a difference. I think the worst bits is obviously when things go wrong, escalations and in those, I suppose, the unknown unknowns when they come out, they can be a, a bit of a nightmare. And I think the only reason it's bad, I enjoy the challenges. And I think you have to take those on and face them head on. I think the challenge is finding the time um, because these things can happen at any time, at any point in the day, and you need to be there to support, support the uh, business or support the client. Finding out about security, is, the industry has changed quite a lot in, in, in the 20 years I've been working in the industry. And I think if you want to find out about security, I think in the early days it was working groups, information security forum was a really good, uh, for me personally, a really good way of understanding and learning my skills I think since then it's reading about things like the register, uh, SANS websites, that type of thing. And I think it depends on the individual in terms of, because of the diversity of security, some people are interested in the general security news, but then some people will focus in on their subject matter expertise or areas of interest. And I think there's that diversity. And I think the other thing I would recommend to people that are looking to be inspired because um, security can often look like in-depth technical skills, which is obviously important. But I look back to Kevin Mitnick and people, people like that that weren't technically great, but look at the social engineering side, look at the skills. So some of those books for people new into industry, it might be a bit more of an interesting read of the types of security 
uh, challenges that are faced. And those principles and challenges still exist today. It's about people behaviours um, as well as the technologies. So, and I would also encourage people to look at prof professionalisation. It's absolutely critical. So uh, having the time to invest, read upon subjects, and if you can get qualified in that, then I think that can help. Um, not only from an experience perspective, but it shows you've got credibility. Um, and then further to that, I'm a big fan of, um, in terms of ed further education. So one of the things I, I certainly did later on in, in my working career was did a part-time uh, master's degree in information security. And I think no matter how much uh, education you get, there's always things that, you, that, are, that you are still able to learn. And you will always be learning about security. Things will always be changing, testing different boundaries. And whilst the principles might be roughly thereabouts the same, they might obviously evolve. I just think that it, the, those are the things, is have a plan. The other critical thing I would say is having the right coaches or mentors. Mentoring is a massive, massive help to people if they get the right sort of people, because they can help give career advice and guidance and it's also thinking around, you know, where, where do you see yourself in four or five years? It's a bit like an interview question. But actually, <laughs> the, the, you might not, might not know, which is absolutely fine. But you still might want to talk to different people to bounce ideas. And, you know, a, a good place to be, really. Security is that richness and diversity of uh, uh, capability. And uh, why would you not want to be in security is what I would say. In coming into the industry, uh, into security, first of all, great decision. <laughs> Why not? Um, I think the advice I would give is have a, have a good plan. And again, have a good mentor. Think about coaching. Speak to people. Attend events. Network with people. And uh, find your, I suppose, find your niche. What, what, what things do you want to do? What things, uh, what things do you think you could be good at? Have a plan and uh, speak to as many people as you can, really.